Alright, hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make Xian Ji. So Xian Ji is a Taiwanese snack dish. So it's a very popular street food in Taiwan. And the key to making this is definitely to let this marinate as long as possible, at least for 30 minutes. And the best process would be to do it overnight. So here's my ingredients over here. We've got chicken cut into bite-sized pieces. We got some of the basil leaves here. I'm going to pull it. I already washed these. <clears throat> the process of this basil leaf is because it makes the chicken very fragrant, which gives it that signature taste it has. Um, it's not mandatory. I've seen people have recipes without it, but I highly, highly recommend the basil leaves because if you're marinating the chicken, you want it as um, fragrant as possible. So definitely add the basil leaves in to let it all soak in the flavor. We've got garlic. We've got shashing rice wine. This is also another key ingredient for the signature Yan Suji taste. This is the five spice powder. You're going to de definitely add in a good amount of that. Okay. Going to add in some black pepper. And add some soy sauce. Okay, mix it all together. Ooh, you can already smell this being cooked. I mean, you can already smell the flavor inside this chicken is what I meant. Okay, so that's it for now. Like I said, you gotta marinate this. You got to let the flavor soak into the chicken because the one that, um, the Taiwanese popcorn chicken is just so flavorful because there's a marinating process going on. So at least 30 minutes, if the best overnight. So prepare it the night beforehand, go sleep in the morning. You can start frying them for lunch. Guys, so the chicken I have been letting it marinate for quite a while. I'm gonna smush it together real quick, take it out into a different pan. And you'll see that the chicken actually soaked up most of the juice, so it's actually not that saucy anymore. So you see that. Now we're gonna get some tapioca starch or sweet potato starch. Either one works. Okay, and we're gonna generally generously coat it with some of that. And then after this is finished coating, it will be ready for frying. I'm wearing a glove because actually it's really hard for me to touch dry stuff. Um, I have no idea why every time, like you know the sound of chalkboard screeching um, on nails, that thing? It gives me the same kind of cringe sound whenever I touch dry stuff. So I have no idea why I'm like that, but I've always been like that. And it has given me some trouble in terms of cooking when I have to deal with starchy. And maybe that's why I don't bake because I, I really, I hate touching flour. It just gives me like a really cringe feeling. Okay, just a little tad more. Like this hand touching the flour, I'm already like kind of getting like that cringy crawling down my spine kind of feeling. I have no idea why. Okay, so that's all you gotta do for the chicken, and it is time to fry this. Guys, just heated up a pot of oil. It is time to fry our chicken. So, I get one of my chicken pieces here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do half and half. I don't want to overload this. That's the last thing you want to do while frying uh, popcorn chicken because then it'll bring down the temperature of the chicken and it won't taste good. Then maybe I'll go three batches. Yeah, let's do three batches. That's this. And then I'm just gonna um, throw in a basil leaf in there so there's more fragrance. We're gonna take it out after about five minutes of frying. It should be a nice golden brown like this. We're gonna let it drench this oil on a sheet of paper. Okay, and after you fry it, here's an option. When you fry stuff, uh, most of the flavor like kind of falls off into the oil. The one that the flavor that sunk in is when it's been marinated. So at this point, you can actually put some white pepper and a little bit of salt on top or spices to 
give it more flavor. Okay, and it'll sink into that. And just give it a nice little toss. So that's, um, that's the first batch. We're going to, going to actually just add it in the rest of the batch. I feel like this um, wok is actually, can actually handle it because it's bigger. So, second batch. There we go. Huh? Alright guys, so here is the popcorn chicken. Let's try this. Mmm. Yummy. Definitely, you got to marinate the seasoning. Soaked in there. Mmm. Alright. I'm gonna show you something else, just a really quick bok choy stir fry because I'm cooking food for my family. So let's try that. Heat it up the oil again. I'm gonna add in ginger and garlic. I'm gonna let this saute a little bit for the bok choy. veggie dish and let me show you the spread that I cooked up there it is just made dinner for fam um, all these recipes I pretty much made a video of there's the bok choy this is my gyozas that's a wonton video that's the mashed leftover mashed potato of the loaded mashed potato video that one's the uh, popcorn chicken spare ribs and this one is the three flavor chicken uh, recipe so Thank you so much for watching and like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos and again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.